We're coming here from our sponsor's house, the great Rosemont Gifford Zoo, with the equally great Allison Waltz, the executive chef here. So what we're gonna learn about today is ancient grain. We're gonna make an incredible vegetarian dish that is gonna really brighten up your summer or fall. Allison, what are we doing? So we've got uh, the quinoa is what I've got as our ancient grain. Um, aside from being delicious, it adds a little bit of texture. There's some protein in there that's nice. Mm -hmm. I just uh, followed the package directions. You can get this right at Wegmans. Uh, this is kale that's actually grown right here at the zoo. Our horticulture team, they're just the best. Um, and I've got, you can kind of do this however you like. This is a, a real funky blue cheese. Yeah, funkier um, the better, baby. This is from the Curd Nerd right on James Street yep. in Eastwood. Uh, I've got some pickled red onions that I pickled. Yourself? Uh, yep, yep. Awesome. That's a real easy process. Maybe Great we'll color, too. Another video. And then just some uh, local blueberries for a little bit of sweetness, freshness. Yep. So when you're talking about like the stuff that's grown here, I think a lot of people yep. don't realize not only do you grow and raise and take care of so many awesome animals, you actually have this beautiful garden and great food here. Yeah, there's a couple of uh, different gardens. They've got kale and Swiss chard and every kind of herb you can imagine, uh, peas, carrots, tomatoes. So we as uh, chefs, we actually have access to all those ingredients. So. And they're also using them to feed some of the animals too. Yes, yep, it's all compost, it's all no pesticides. It's, it's a really special project. I, I think about like the events that you guys throw here. One of our favorite things ever is you're getting homegrown food, homemade food by a homegirl here at Allison and the events are awesome. I've been to great weddings. I haven't been to a funeral here yet <laughs> and I hope that I don't, yeah, but everything too. that you do, like you did a great wedding last night, it's pretty special. Yeah, it's a cool place to be, it's a cool place to work. Um, so this is uh, another product that I got at the, the Kerr Nerd. It's, this is a great trick for uh, if you've got a little bit of honey left in the jar, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of maple syrup, and sure. you can't quite get it out, you can make a little vinaigrette for your salad right in the jar. Ooh. Um, so basic rule of thumb is three to one oil to vinegar. It can be any kind of acid lemon juice. So I've got a little bit of honey left in there. I'm gonna do just a little bit of balsamic vinegar. This is just a really good olive oil. Go ahead and taste it. There's plenty of little olive oil shops. Um, you wanna be able to taste it raw. I like a little bit of fresh minced garlic. Heck yeah salt and pepper, and just a little bit of Dijon. That helps it kind of bind together. Yep. And then I'm gonna screw the lid back on, and we're just gonna shake the heck out of it. Love it. You can throw some lemon juice in there. That's such a great tip, and I think a lot of people don't realize that's a great way to get the last of those exactly. ingredients. Exactly. And then you also save a dish, too. Exactly, specialty, these, uh, these specialty local ingredients. So just shake it up until it's all mixed together. We're gonna pour it right on the top. And then uh, you can use your hands or some tongs. I'm going to use a spoon. So while you're whipping that up, you know, yeah. one of the things a lot of people get surprised about is how often we actually eat vegetarian stuff. So if you're like, oh, I don't like vegetarian food. You love mac and cheese. You love all these other things. Yeah. What are some of your favorite ways to make vegetarian food appealing to non-vegetarians? I like, I like to use the grill. I find that um, a little bit of Ooh. char can really change the flavor of, of some vegetables. Um, Zucchini's great on a grill. Yeah. Um, even like potatoes, right on the grill. Grilled Carrots, potatoes. Yeah, that's that a stuff. great idea. Yep. This is so beautiful. I don't know if I want to take a bite, but I got it. This blue <laughs> cheese and the grains just look so great. Let's yeah, see. you can swap out that blue cheese for like a feta or goat cheese. Instead of the blueberries, you could use strawberries, really whatever's in season and local and fresh. It's gonna make a big difference. Yo, Allison, this is a modern, fresh take on ancient grains. And it's healthy too. So we're in front of the health center, you take care of the animals in there, take care of the animals here. This executive chef keeps it funky with this great blue cheese. Spatchcock Funk does too. Come here, get funky with this awesome animal and your next party is coming here going wild at the zoo. Dope food plus strong drinks equals great stories. Subscribe now for more recipes and bad jokes.